Hey everyone, it's Caitlin from Caitlin's Crafts. Wait, it's actually me. I am so excited to finally be able to show you myself. Anyways, I'm sorry I haven't been able to upload a tutorial in quite some time. I have been super busy, but today I'm going to show you this really cool flower canvas. It is super cute and this is like just about done. I just need to do some touch-ups to the blue. But um, it can be room decor for your office, which I made this one for my mom's office at work. You can put magnets like on the back and um, put it at your in your locker at school and you could use a smaller one. Um, they can go just about anywhere. Um, you can use it bigger, smaller, any size. But let's get into the supplies. You're going to need a canvas, obviously. I am using an 8x10. Um, but you can use a smaller one for your locker or a bigger one for your room. Um, but since I'm making this for my mom's office, it is a smaller one. And then you're going to want to um, draw a flower on it. Um, or you can use a stencil. Or if you are good at drawing, you can freehand it and just do it with the paint. But I had my mom already draw it because I cannot draw. So I had her do it for me. <laughs> You're going to need your paints, so I have a neon pink um, paint for the actual like petals of the flower. I have bright yellow for the circle thingy. And then I have, if it says its name, I don't, whoop, I don't know the name of it because it doesn't say. But I have this really bright green for the stem. And then the outside where the flower won't be, I obviously want that part to look good too. So um, I have it turquoise. So I used all bright colors. Then you will obviously, in order to paint, you'll need paintbrushes. So I have this one, this one right here, um, for actually painting the flower part and then I have this smaller one if you can see the brush um, to do like the outline so I'll get these out of the way then you will need a cup of water to clean your paintbrush I have mine off to the side you will want to have napkins nearby to either wipe off your paintbrush or just to be safe and have them and then you will either want a painter's palette or a paper plate. I use a paper plate because it is a lot easier and I can just throw it away afterwards. So you're going to want to grab your first part. You can do one of two options. So you don't, well, if you want, you can do it all at once, but you would want to like space it out so it doesn't get too ruined. You can do the stem and the circle thingy um, first or you can do the outside blue and the circle part. If you really wanted to you can do it all at once but I am going to do the circle and then the stem so they're not touching and they don't get ruined at all and um, then I'm going to do the blue let that dry and then do the pink so I have all my colors right off to the side um, I'm going to take the bright yellow first always shake it up first and then put a little blob I'll show you how much I put on. I don't put on a super ton. Like, I only put that much on. Because you don't need a ton for the little circle. So, we'll get a little bit. And that's as much as I put on. And then, 
I'll just start painting in the circle. And it doesn't need to be perfect. So now I already got the middle painted. I'm going to touch it up just a little bit. So where there's more thicker parts, I will make them a bit thinner. And I'll just wipe off my paintbrush a little more. So then it'll like spread it out better. So then you're going to want to get your cup of water or whatever you're using. You will probably want a disposable one because you'll get paint. Well, you'll most likely get paint on it. So then you just get it wet, then you wipe it off with your paper towel, and then you can see that I wiped it off. And then just going back through again, and making sure to get off as much yellow as I can first. So just keep wiping until you get as much as you can. So I just got as much as I could. So now I'm going to take the green, shake it really good, and then put a little blob of it. And that's as much as I used. You can see I still have some yellow. So I'm going to move this up so you guys can see a bit better. And I'm going to get a little bit on the paintbrush again. And I'm going to start painting the stem. Okay, and now I have done the center and the leaf. So I'm going to let this dry and probably do a couple touch-ups um, off camera, and I will be back in just a minute. Okay, so it is currently the day after I made the flower canvas, but I just went to go start editing it together. And the part where I painted inside the flower, so this part right here, got completely deleted. I don't know how, but it did. Um, all you have to do is just paint the inside and like do a bit like some spots around the edges with a smaller paintbrush, but it's really easy. You just paint it like you normally would paint, but let's get into the outside. Okay, so I have just about everything done. Um, if you are doing it like I am, you are going to go on to the next step, but you can leave it like this. You need to like get it to the top. So you really can't tell this is hot pink, but it is super bright. Um, I don't have the color in here anymore, but let's see if you can. No. <laughs> um. It's really bright. I don't know why it doesn't show up. Um, that's how it looks. Now I'm going to do the outside blue. So I have my turquoise. Um, and remember to wipe off in between. You can see I have been wiping mine off. And I always will just go around everywhere, wipe it off and everything. So I'm going to start out on camera but I am going to do lots of it off camera because this is going to take a while and it is going to be really hard so I'll start and real quick you don't depending on where you're putting it you don't need to like go 
all to the sides, but do a little, like if you're putting it in your room, depending where, just, yeah, <laughs> just like figure out how you want it. I'm just doing a little bit, so it isn't really like too much, but on the wall, um, you like won't be able to tell the whole thing isn't painted. So I will now start fast forwarding and doing this until I get off camera. And I'm going to do the rest off camera just so I'll be able to see myself better and it'll have a better result at the end. So I will be back in just a second. Okay, so I have finally finished the flower um, canvas. <laughs> um, I did all of the blue and it is completely dry. I did the pink, the yellow, and the green. And I will get a bit closer starting at the bottom because it's about all I can get up there, but because can't move it back anymore. Um, but I really like how this turned out. Um, Tomorrow, since it is currently 1 in the morning while I'm filming this, I will do a couple more touch-ups, and yeah. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and making the flower canvas. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!